Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and we couldn't let Michael Collier go just yet. Yay. So we brought him on over to the circle yes. to chat with us. Well, you welcome are, back, you sir. Are so fly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Aww, thank you, Mr. Collier. Put me right in the middle. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have to end this. You <laughs> <laughs> trying to come down a co-host. Okay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's not a bad idea. And I okay. am open for guest co-hosts. Okay. Yeah. Make sure the producer, produce. She heard you. She heard you. She definitely heard you. No, but we don't want to play like shot. That's all she. Okay. She anyway. can <laughs> it's all good. So let's talk about your your your, face, your Facebook. You're doing a lot on Facebook. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, you know, the thing I'm doing on there is I have this character. I play Donald Trump. So mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a black Donald Trump. Okay. And uh, I've been killed. Oh, look. Oh, that's my it. God. I, you know what? I play the character, but they're not liking it on Facebook. They because don't. I'm saying all that stuff he do. You know, because he lied and lied about the lie and lie. Right, about right, you right. lying about yeah. him lying. So, right. so they're not happy with it. So what they did, they, they uh, punished me. You know, at one point, I got 864,000 hits. Oh, wow. wow. And so they took me off. They said, I'm, I'm messing up community standards. I'm mm. not following community standards. So they put me in Facebook jail. Facebook. Uh -huh. So they wouldn't let me go live for really? a day. And then the next day I did it again. So uh -huh. they took me off for three days. Then I did it again. They took me off for three weeks. Then I did it again. They took me off for three months. And I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to do it every day until either he expires or until they throw him out. Well, mm. nice. Well, here there we go. go. There go. There go. There and then there's that. That's why I wrote my book on my president. Funny thing happened on the way to the White House. I knocked on the door and the brother answered. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is a children's book. Yeah, it's, it's an everybody book. Okay, okay. it's everybody children book. can read it, too. Okay. You know, because it just tells the story of a great man who came and the wonderful stuff he did. And I know women love. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know y'all love mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I come home one night, my woman laying in bed butt naked. Uh -huh. Watching Barack Obama give a speech. I say, what are you talking about? She said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm the family now. You know, so, so I know we love him, yeah. and we still love him. Yes. I miss him. Yes. Yes. Also, always, 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 raise him. Yeah. always raise him up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. Now, you, you're using your platform, too. I, I, I love how you're using your platform to encourage and inspire. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're obviously slap dead funny. Right. Well, thank but you. I love how you use your platform to also um, talk about things that are real issues. Mm -hmm. what, right. is, what was your choice to kind of merge that as well as comedy, like to put the two together? I just think the best comedy is the truth, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And so I just get a chance to tell my truth. Yeah. And that's what you mean in, in the play itself. Mm -hmm. In my case, mom, yeah, I get to tell the, the truth. You know, uh, I am an addict. You know, yeah. so I did crack like 23 years. And as of March 1st, I have seven years of pure sobriety. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I think it's important to talk about and to say because there's people out there who's only been addicted a year mm -hmm. who think they can never get to the other side. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing you that you can get to the other side and not just get to the side, but you can thrive. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I would, I, in a play, I got a chance to act out my addiction, sneak in the house 3.30 in the morning, heartbeat fast, sweating like R. Kelly in a playground. And, <laughs> and so, um, and, and to be able to make you be able to laugh at that situation, mm -hmm. that will open your heart up so I can put the information in. Like because it just you did. also yeah. saw the recovery of it, you yeah. know? And yeah. so, it's just a great thing for me. And, and it's affected my career greatly because mm -hmm. it allows me to tell more of the truth mm -hmm. and more of the truth. And I ain't afraid to tell it. Oh, well, we are so and I'm just happy. telling man. I ain't yes. gonna tell on y'all. Right, right, right. I'm just right, telling right, man. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's real good. <laughs> yeah. You gonna gossip. That's real good. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna own the job. Make sure it's your own. <laughs> but if you had to say anything, how did, a, how did it, the addiction, affect your life? Well, in actually, your it, it informs mm -hmm. what I further say. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how come I bless everything that happened to me. I don't mm -hmm. curse any of it. Mm -hmm. Anything that ever happened to me brought me to where I am today. Yeah. Look at me yeah. sitting in the middle right here with all four <laughs> y'all yes, right. because I have that story to tell. Yes. You know, and so my mother, although she transcended seven years ago, is still getting me paid mm -hmm. by yeah. just telling the story of our life. Looking and up. she's still looking mm -hmm. over us. Yes. And so right. yeah. it affects every day because I'm healing people and teaching yes. people and making people know it's all right. I wanted to piggyback on something. You said she uh, she transitioned seven years ago. Was yes. that your breaking point that you needed to be sober for her spirit? No, actually, I got sober one year prior year to that. So actually. she was able to see for you. Well, you know, she. I, let me hear the thing. I don't know. She never said to me or spoke to me about my addiction. Mm -hmm. I never got higher on my mother. Mm -hmm. You know, and I. But of course, she, she knew. knew. Yeah. She knew. your mom. Of course, right. yeah. Your yeah. mom always know. Right. So I know she knew. But it was nothing she ever said to me, and I never did it where it affected her. Like, I never stole from myself, mm -hmm. or right. I never stole from the family. I lived my life, right. and I was a functioning, functioning. addict. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I would do my work. I did films and wrote books and did everything. It's a lot and of And nobody those. knew, because I'd go on my own yeah. and mm -hmm. take care of my business until yeah. I ran out of my business money, right. and I'd come back and get some more money. <laughs> right. you know? right. um, so I was a, I was a functioning addict. I yeah. was functional while being dysfunctional. 
functioning. Yeah. Yeah. But, Message. but it didn't really serve me well because so many people who was coming up before me who looked up to me yeah. have passed me. Yeah. Cedric yeah. the Entertainer got in the game after me. That's yeah. why he's wearing the suits and the hats. People tell me yeah. about Cedric the Entertainer. Mm-hmm. This guy who wants to do comedy like you. They used to look up to me. I was yeah. wearing suits when Steve Harvey was still wearing hammer pants. Yeah. But all mm-hmm. them guys have passed me because when you're getting high, you effectively put your life on hold. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you Ooh. stand on the curb watching a parade go by. So all of them, they, they wealthy and I'm just rich. Right. Mm. But uh, I ain't mad at them because everything that happened to me happened to me because of me. can be liquor as well, right? right? Liquor. It could be any, any addiction. It could be food. It could yeah. be any food. addiction. Anything that keeps you from going from where you truly want to oh go. Oh, my God. And you can change it. You have to remember, I can change my life at any moment I choose, but what moment shall I choose? Ooh. Right. You know? So, but I, can I just add one thing really quickly? I am, <laughs> we are so proud of you yeah. that Thank when you. your mom made the transition to glory, mm-hmm. a lot of people would have used that as an excuse to fall back right. into it. Mm-hmm. Guess what you said? I'm a yeah. whole set fast. Right. And so yeah. we're very proud of you for that. In fact, it's yeah. important that my mother and God are proud of me. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's how I live my life yes. now. Yes. I want them to be proud of me. So I know they're watching. You know, mm-hmm. like I don't do anything bad on purpose. If I mess you up, I swear to God, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. But I know my mother is watching. We gotta I gotta ask, if you had the opportunity to, to have a conversation with your younger self, what would you tell yourself? What would that advice be? Uh first I say don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, don't do it. Uh, because, like I say, the, the hardest part about my addiction was I didn't get more things. Because mm-hmm. I wanted more stuff. Now, mm-hmm. I, I know that money ain't God. Right. But it is the lubrication of life. Come on, man. I mean, you can't... You can't actualize your dreams if you can't pay your rent. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Somebody else uh, shout so it. I would like more stuff. I'd like $100 million. Yes. I would love that. Although I would never have 100 Because right. I'd always give half no to the way. homeless. No yes. matter what Very I'm having, I will always share and give back to others. Because I think if you ever want to have anything, you yeah, got to learn how to her. give all Born to all. Yes. Yes. If you yes. give everything to everybody, you have so much stuff, you won't have no place to put Come it. Come on now. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Michael, thank you for sharing you. Oh, Man, your story. We appreciate you. your time and yes. much success. Somebody needed to hear that today. Yes, they did. Yes. Somebody oh, they, today. they better come out and see me live so they can hear some That's more. That's right. You've got shows. If you're I in Atlanta. Shows. Yes, Uptown, go ahead. Uptown Comedy Corner. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I have six more shows, two tonight, three Saturday, one Sunday. You have six opportunities to miss me. Bring your mom and <laughs> Yeah. I would be so funny. Right. I wish I was in the audience watching. Right. Good, good. <laughs> and please let me throw my social media out there. Go please ahead, real quick. Michael Cowyer, C O L Y A R at Twitter, Michael underscore Cowyer, and also my Facebook page because I'm still going to be doing my Donald Trump. Come on. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much awesome. for coming out. We love you so much. You. Let's I'm give it up one more time for Michael Cowyer. Thank y'all. Thank you. Yes, coming up. 